Hello, learners. Welcome to Learn at Home program. Cecilia Jachi is my name, your agricultural science teacher. Just one to three. We are going to talk about agricultural activities. You can hear some people, they say they are farmers. If you ask them, what, what are you? they say they are farmers. We want to see who a farmer is today. Before you can call yourself a farmer, you should be able to you should be able to practice one or two activities that we are going to talk about in this our lessons. Learning objective. At the end of this topic, you should be able to define agricultural activities, outline all the agricultural activities, then explain some of the acti agricultural activities. As we all know, agriculture is an important component of the nation. The other day that we define agriculture, the meaning of agriculture, we said it is one of the core components of the country Nigeria because of its importance. It produces food for the populace. Agricultural activities are all the activities that is practiced in agriculture. If you want to call yourself a farmer, you must practice one or two of these activities I'm going to talk about now. They are as follows. Growing of crops. It's one of the activities that we do in agriculture. You, you, I, before you call yourself, as I've said before, as a farmer, you're supposed to do these activities. At least growing of crops, such as yam, rice, maize, granite, beans, millet, fruit, fruit crops. When I mean food crops, I'm talking about all these food crops like oranges, banana, cashew, etc., etc. Then we talk of, of ornamental crops. As you know, ornamental crops, there are all those crops that we use to beautify our environment. The second activity I want to talk about is rain of farm animals. If you say you are a farmer, you are supposed to practice these activities like rearing of farm animals such as sheep, goat, cattle, poultry, rabbit, bee, snail, grass cutter, etc., etc. You, grow, you are rearing sheep, rabbit, pig, horse, goat, chicks, as, as the case might be. If you, practice, if you rear any, any of these uh, animals, you are an agriculturist. The third activities we are going to talk about is marketing of agricultural produ uh, produce. If you are involved in the marketing of yam, cassava, vegetable, rice, egg, goat, cow, you are practicing agriculture. And that is another uh, agricultural produce. Number three. The third activities we are going to talk about is preservation of agricultural produce. It is a post-harvest activities. This is done to prevent spoilage and wastage of harvested produce. Process of preservation are sun drying, refrigeration, smoking, salting, grinding. They are all done to preserve our harvested produce. The next one is processing of agricultural produce. It is a post-harvest activities also. This is done in agro-allied industries and can also be done locally by farmers. What I mean is that if you want to process your crops as a farmer, you can do it by yourself or you can take it to the agro-allied industries so that they can process it for you. A particular produce can be changed to another form. During that process of uh, processing, you can change a particular product to another form during the process of uh, uh, processing. Like if you have the yam tuba, you can process it to yam flour or powder. Gari can be processed to gari. Cassava can be processed to gari, fufu and starch. Palm fruit, you can process it to palm oil and carne oil. 
fruit crops like the orange you can produce processes to orange juice you can use you can uh, mango can be processed to mango juice maize you can process it to flour pap starch cornflakes as the case might be granite can be processed to oil granite cake cotton wool can be processed into cloth trade animal fat you can process it to margarine animal wool you can process it to warm clothing and rugs animal skin you can use it to process it in the agro allied industry to bag shoe belt then rubber tree you can use it to process into motor tire rubber plates rubber shoes and so on and so forth the next activities we are going to talk about is storage of agricultural produce if you harvest your, prod your produce, you can store them in bags, you can store them in can, silo, metal drum, and band. Recap of the study. In this topic, we have learned that agricultural activities are all the activities that is involved in agricultural production. Activities such as growing of crops, Rearing of farm animals, marketing of agricultural produce, preservation of agricultural produce, processing of agricultural produce, then storage of agricultural produce. Before I go, I want to leave you with this home tax. You are going to look for agricultural textbook and write the home tax. Number one. What is an agro-allied industry? Number two, list some farm produce and their storage facilities. Then number three, the last but not the least, differentiate between processing and preservation. Thank you for listening. Stay safe until I call your way next time. Thank you.